Our last guest for you today is uh, quickly becoming one of my favorites. This is Bella 2, because we have two Bellas on the floor, like we have two biscuits and we have two pumpkins. Um, she is, um, despite the fact that she looks like a, a very young kitten, she is actually six years old. Um, she weighs in at um, just under six pounds. So she's a petite little girl. Um, and what, what I love about her is that she's just so sweet to me. Um, she can be a little sassy sometimes, which is why we have her down as a purple card, which um, sometimes scares people away um, because um, you know she doesn't always want people to be um, messing with her and she lets you know that. So um, she just needs someone who understands kind of cat body language, cat behavior. Um, someone who has older kids is going to be better for her um, just because she doesn't necessarily want to play in rough house. She just wants to uh, hang out and be your, your you know, constant companion. Um, she is so cute. She has those big eyes and that, um, you know, sweet little face. Um, she is uh, just a, a love. She um, asks for attention a lot. She comes to the front of her cage. She rubs against it. She wants someone to, to love her. Um, she was brought to us because um, her owners were moving and they said they were just unable to keep her. And they've had her for her entire six years of life. Um, they say that um, she's used to kind of older kids, that she can be a lap cat. Um, she can be a little shy. It does take her time to get used to living with other cats. So, um, you know, you're not going to just toss her in with another cat and expect them to be friends. You want to take time to slowly introduce them. They say that she can be independent. Um, they say that um, she um, does well with baths. So that's, that says a lot about her if she's willing to tolerate a bath. Um, they say that she's a lap cat, that she's very caring, and that when you whistle and say her name, um, at least to, to the woman's son, the owner's son, she would come and respond to whistles in her name. So that's kind of a cute thing that she does. Um, it does say that she does claw a little bit on furniture, but she does use her cardboard scratcher. So, um, you know, all cats are going to scratch. It's just up to us as their owners to train them and and encourage them to do um, their scratching on the correct items. Um, so that's just something that you're gonna have to deal with every now and again, um, just as a cat owner.